Russia-Ukraine conflict. The EU extends sanctions against Russia at an extraordinary meeting in Brussels. They also agreed to discuss names to add to the list of individuals targeted for EU travel bans and asset freezes. However, they did not agree on imposing new economic sanctions against Russia. The minister's meth is fighting rage in eastern Ukraine. Moscow denies any involvement in the conflict. There has been further fighting in eastern Ukraine near the town of Debeltsevir. The location of a strategic railway junction between Donetsk and Luhansk. Thursday's meeting was called after the government-held port of Mariupol was shelled at the weekend, with the deaths of at least 30 people. Ukraine blamed rebels for the attack. There was uncertainty over the position of the new Greek government. The Russian ally which says it wants to avoid a rift between the EU and Russia. NATO says hundreds of Russian tanks and armored vehicles are in East Ukraine. Moscow denied direct involvement but says some Russian volunteers are fighting alongside the rebels. The U.S which has coordinated sanction moves with Brussels in the past year, said it was not planning an immediate new announcement itself. Tank assault on the ground in eastern Ukraine. Rebels captured the town of Volyhersk near Derbeltsevir. Ukrainian Defense Ministry spokesman Vladislav Selesnyov was quoted by AP news agency as saying government troops were trying to drive them out again. Speaking from a hospital bed in the town of Artemovsk, Ukrainian army soldier Farim Hukovitsa told AP the attack on Belyersk had begun with an apparent tactical feint. Some tanks tried to break through but we repelled the first attack but that was clearly a probing move, he said. Farmer vehicles and tanks then charged towards the town through fields in a fresh assault two hours later, he said. More civilians were killed by shelling in Annette's region on Thursday. While overall figures could not be verified independently, at least three civilians were killed in the belt severe and two in Annette's city. More than 4,800 people have been killed and some 1.2 million have fled since rebels took control of parts of Luhansk and Annette's regions in April.